Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Streak is getting a little out of control, which means it's time for a lost run. Nah, we're not going that far. Maybe Judas? Blue Baby. Blue Baby can be risky, Blue Baby can be fun. Usually it's not fun because it's Blue Baby, but it's kind of a byproduct. 6 QVE 1 FAJ. Faja, 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 Maja, Faja. Yeah. Any run where you can open. With a reference to 2003's number one film, Austin Powers in Goldmember, is uh, oh, that's a good day. You'll remember that that is where um, Mike Myers, who is Canadian, plays the Dutch supervillain uh, Goldmember, who says Fajer. He also likes to have a smoke and a pancake. He's a he's got a lot of depth of character, specifically the smoking and pancake thing. Um, yeah, this is good. Okay. Give me a bomb back, please. No, two spirit hearts is still solid. And, and a strength card that, uh... I don't really know what we can use it for, because it's not like it would help us finance a deal with the devil, because we're blue baby, but... it I don't know, man. Maybe we'll be able to get Dark Judas, and then we can come back as Dark Judas and use the strength card to steal a deal with the devil. It's getting a little bit, you know, higher order kind of strategy here, but it's, I guess, a theoretical possibility that it could work. Tiny item room. Weird. Friendly ball. Probably better than the poop, at least without petrified poop. Um, not all enemies are created equal when it comes to friendly ball, but some enemies can be pretty good here. We've got to actually capture them and then unleash them, though. Pin is not an enemy that we can capture. That's okay. I gotta say, our damage is pretty good. I mean, the fact that we're fighting probably the second least tanky boss at this stage in the game uh, is not doing us... Uh, any penalties here either, but DPS, 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 yeah, okay, meat is kind of DPS. To have six spirit arts puts us, like, firmly in probable deal with the devil territory. A second Curse of the Blind is pretty shitty, though. Um, a boss trap room. Red chests? Not red chests, okay. So I'm not that interested. Gotta find the right enemy to capture. Rule number one, or at least guideline number one for me when using friendly ball, is don't capture an enemy that rushes other enemies down. So these spiders, you know, they might be good for a little damage, but it doesn't justify spending three rooms uh, to, to take care of it. Let's go for maximum pot action here. Um, and then this one will be secret room chance. Okay. Um, we're going to go for an enemy that maybe clings to the wall. We're gonna go for an enemy that, that shoots rather than rushing uh, other enemies down. That's basically a spirit heart. There's like no combat on this floor. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. No consumable either. Yeah, I mean one of the ghosts maybe would be okay to capture. Nice, yeah, you nailed it. Um, I think this enemy is tough enough that we do want to pop the strength card. Again, I, there might be more creative uses for the strength card, but I'm just gonna use it as a one room uh, all stats up to basically make it easier for me to beat the haunt. Good. Very, very good. Just don't let him get in close. After he shoots, you got a brief window of chance. That was really easy. And we get Wooden Spoon, which is okay. And we get a three heart deal for Guppy's Head, which actually is way better than Friendly Ball. Less exciting? I think that's probably fair, but uh, way better nonetheless. Okay, uh, we will check our curse room, and we're looking for like a Justice card or a Stars card. Almost dodged right into that. Here a fun. Well worth our time to come in here, and then a Fool card. Okay, we see. Got a Spirit Heart and a half, I guess. Nothing there. Actually, it's just one Spirit Heart, right? Because I did also get hit once on the room. That was also horrible damage right there. Um, we're we're gonna start to eat shit pretty soon. The run is not bad. We have precedent. We have Guppy's head, which is also a Guppy item, of course. We got no keys, and that's gonna only get worse. We could have stuck around on the last floor, but I was really like, ah, one item room. We're gonna get hooked up. They're gonna hook us up with a key at some point, um, and we're not gonna sweat missing that first item room that much. But. Uh, I'm starting to sweat it, because now we're on the next floor, and it's it's looking like we might not be able to get this one either. And that would be, uh, that'd be a real damper on things for sure, uh, especially as our HP starts to dwindle. So please, a key. I'll, I'll pay a bomb for it. Does not bother me. Um, unlikely to be a secret room, but let's check. 
Got a bomb and a key. Okay, so that was good. Uh, and then if this would just be like a DPS upgrade, then I would consider us to be very lucky individuals. Book of Revelations. Uh, I think you sort of have to roll that. You think we can do this? I think we can do this. Ah, waste of a bomb, unfortunately. Um, Book of Revelations is awesome, though. Uh, Guppy said way better offensively, but Book of Revelations, strangely enough, is going to enable us to get much better offensively because of the fact that it's going to give us a, uh, a cube of meat, because we're going to be fighting pestilence on this floor. Cube of meat, ball of bandages, doesn't really matter either way. Um, consumable game is super weak, but the ability to actually kill enemies easily by just hitting them with a cube of meat is going to kind of revolutionize this run. Watch, we'll also get like Curse of the Blind Mom's Knife or something. And I will, uh, I will no longer need to do damage with anything other than my tears. But, you know, I'd be, I'd be happy to have that opportunity, I suppose. Yeah, line them up, please. So far, so good. Uh, we're going really fast. But every room is a slog and a half. Like, every room is slow. But, uh... The actual time is fast because of how quickly we did, like, the last two floors. This room is gonna suck the big one. Two of clubs. Okay. Bombs. Bombs can be useful. What are we going to do with two bombs right now? I mean, you can go back for that key, but I don't really like the idea of that. Maybe look for a second secret room, and if we find a tinted rock, awesome. Or actually, you know what? We can kind of get the best of both worlds back here, right? Like, over here there's a card, and also four mushrooms, and also a key and a penny. So we can kind of, for two bombs get a decent trade, potentially. We also got Liberty Cap and the Sun. So yeah, I'd say that was probably worth it. Um, we're not going to use the Sun on this floor. It's exclusively a, a compass, basically, or a, a, a map, so... That's what we're going to use it for. And also a Death Card, but... Uh, about to get another Spirit Heart. I'm really, really excited to get our Cube of Meat. I can't... St I'm probably going to lose a ton of HP, because I am going to... Lose my mind with this ball of bandages slash cube meat. I'm gonna do so much damage with it. This is like, you'd say like, hey, that's bad for you. Why would you do that? You never had like a Friday night when you're working? And you're like, man, when I get home, I'm gonna just like, either, well, I'm gonna go out with my friends, we're gonna party, I'm gonna like, make irresponsible choices, or I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna play like eight hours of a video game and eat a bunch of like food and soda that's not good for me. Sometimes you, to maintain your mental health, you have to forego a little bit of your physical health. And I think that's true in Isaac as well. We're going to... Uh, we're going to probably put ourselves at risk of taking a lot of damage in order to preserve my sanity. And I'm completely okay with this. Also gonna throw some bombs down there because really, like, I'm so disappointed in my tears right now that I'm, you know, over the moon to be able to throw a bomb at this guy and make his life worse. Man, I hate this room layout. He can box me in so easily. But let's just remember, it's not worth using the sun. It's not worth using the sun. I didn't even see that one coming. I should have, but I didn't. Please, yes, more bombs that explode right in your face, please. Uh, I don't know, man. Krampus? Is that what this is going to be? It's not Krampus. We can't do shit. Uh, would we rather have Satanic Bible? Honestly, I don't necessarily think so. I'm pretty pleased with this. Alrighty, Curse of Darkness. I think we are going to Death Card. Might as well do it now. Um, there's a Dice Room. Let's see what kind of Dice Room this endeavors to be. Dude, look at that damage. It's so good. All you need is Lump. Do, 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 do. I know it's not a Lump. It's actually a cube, but uh, you get the idea. But reroll our whole run. You wouldn't make me re-roll my whole run. I'm gonna do it. Don't get me wrong. I just want to check this. Uh, Infestation 2 is good enough to keep. So, we're gonna re-roll our whole run. We got Rune Bag. Mom's Eye. Uh, our shots are red for whatever reason, but I'm really glad we left Infestation 2 there, so we had kind of like another way out. We also have uh, a fly item. Which I'm very positive on. We just have so few items on this run. We're not really gaining that much uh, from a reroll, but sure. I mean, Rune Bag could be good. Could be great. 
Infestation 2 is a beautiful item. That didn't come on the reroll. That was, uh, you know, something we intelligently allowed ourselves to keep uh, negotiation rights for. And I'd do it again. And we basically swapped cube of meat damage for uh, this fly damage. Would I do it again? Uh, I don't know. Cube of meat's better. This gives us a little bit more, you know, defense, but... Cube of meat is much better. Okay, break this so we got more dodging ability. We still don't have enough HP to take a deal with the devil. We are at least doing some damage, though. Pop up. Ooh, this is a little risky. Dude, I don't know. I'm thinking that orbital damage is the name of the game here. We got another deal with the devil. A Degas rune allows us to take a deal. And we will absolutely take Abaddon. Um... Maybe you take black powder as well, but I think I think I'm gonna skip it because I don't I don't trust it right now So now it's all about building a run that's good enough for us to kill things with our tears quickly and then just let uh, Infestation 2 snowball. This is just one of those strange reminders that uh, you know Your the time that you've taken on the run is not necessarily indicative of how strong your run is Mostly we've gotten a little lucky with mapping uh, and had a had a pretty easy time Getting through floors quickly, but we're not really clearing the floors out super quickly. We're, we're largely, uh, or clearing the rooms out quickly, I should say. We're largely kind of taking our time there uh, because we do no damage. We're very lucky, to be honest with you, that uh, we get spiders when we kill something with the, the flies. Or with the fly, uh, I should say. Because that's still like our semi-principal means of doing damage. Liberty Cap is awesome when it gives me like Magic Mush. I think that was Magic Mush there. Maybe that was Skinny Odd Mush. Either way, I'm into it. Hagalaz is pretty bad. Yera, we will hold. And I don't know what we do with it, but uh, we'll hold it. Standard operating procedures. Take it down to the chest. Sounded a little lewd. Don't interpret it that way. Need a space bar item. That's like an obvious one for us. Shoop the whoop or something would be amazing here. It would really help out our uh, spider economy because we'd be able to create like you know spiders instantly on a room. And even if those spiders kill themselves to to uh, kill an enemy for us, that's still positive. You know, it's it's still uh, money well spent or time well spent. In my opinion, at least. Speaking of our spider economy, working out pretty well here. Totally forgot we had the magnet. Rarely useful, but uh, when it is, it is. Item room is Midas Touch <laughs> again. Okay, we just had this on our last run. There's some good stuff uh, that you can get out of this. Perthrow or Yara. I think it, Yara is a little bit more explosive, right, in terms of its usefulness. Uh, Midas Touch. Now we just look for invincibility. And if we really can get any form of invincibility and then the virus, we're pretty much set, as we as we discovered. Um, let's check for a second secret room down here. Ooh, plenty of keys. Cricket's head? Not Cricket's head, just more money. And plenty of bombs as well. Well, now we actually should make an effort to go to our shop. I was kind of hesitant earlier because we didn't really look like we were... Uh, Liable to get too much from it, but that has changed drastically. More keys and runes, and a golden key. Pandora's box, Dank Depths 1, this is four spirit hearts, but we might as well hold it for now. Let's take that. Um, yeah, we didn't really want pay to play at this point. Al Algiz is good, but, um, you know, we're not using it anyway, so let's just get the heck out of here. Um... So we'll probably try to use that on the Cathedral. Pandora's box, that is. But if we, if we end up using it on the womb, that's totally fine, too. Okay, get in there with your fly, because you should be generating a buttload of spiders. That was well worth the half-spirit heart we invested, in my opinion. And Cat of Nine Tails is really good as well. All right, we're still just slightly on the cusp of really exploding into power on this run. So just need a little bit more. Don't know why my voice did that. Just need a little little bit more. Really? That was terrible dodging on my part. Um, I still think that 
Even though Infestation 2 is like one of the items in the game certainly least in need of a buff. It would be awesome if uh, if the enemy's power was put into the spider. So the more tanky the enemy you killed, or the more uh, powerful the enemy you killed at least, the more powerful the spider was. But I understand that that would also make some uh, enemies just ridiculously powerful. Okay, this is a, a good room for orbitals, in my opinion. Now remember, this is Dank Depths 2, right? We got no need to get out of here in any kind of expedited fashion. Range up is fine. That was probably the worst damage I could I could muster taking. Oh, we got two Yara runes. As always, Yaras are immune to the Yara. You can't Yara a Yara rune. Try to try to say many many times. People get very. They're like, you have unlimited Yaras now. I do not have unlimited Yaras now. I have the one Yara. Well, I have two Yaras. That's not unlimited. Can you get to unlimited Yeras? Yeah, if you had like blank card Yera and a battery charge on the ground. It's sort of a different circumstance though. So if we find blank card on our shop, we might be able to make it happen. And that would be a good opportunity to get rid of uh, Pandora's box as well. I'll take the four spirit hearts and, and be thankful for it. Per throw. Good if we find our item room soon. Uh, are we going to do boss rush on this one? I mean, I don't think so. Maybe if we get Unicorn Stump in our item room, but um, otherwise, I think probably not. Midas Touch really is forever only one item away from snowballing, though, so... You just got to see what you get. Another Spirit Art is nice. I've been taking some dumb damage thinking I'm stronger than I am. Sharp Plug, I think, is not worth anything. Uh, pardon me. I blew that dude up, and he became a Greed Monster. I didn't know that that was possible. But then he dropped a bunch of money and a dice shard. Uh, let's perthrow this stuff. Okay. And then there is blank card, hilariously. So, okay, we'll use that. That's not four spirit hearts. We buy blank card. It comes with a charge immediately. We have Yera. And then we just Yara the shit out of the shop and get infinite money. Is this how this works? Yes. It'll also give us unlimited dice shards. Not unlimited money, I suppose, because there's no money on the ground, but... What do you got here? Unlimited lemon parties. Well, that's a that's a good one. What if... Okay, tell me, just do one more here. What if we left here... You know what? I'm, I'm addicted to the pull here. Keep grabbing these battery charges. That's good. Okay, then we're going to leave. And we're just going to drop the Yara rune. Wow, this is a bad time to have the magnet, dog. Uh, we're going to drop the Yara rune out here. And then we're going to go pick up a dice shard. And we're going to reroll the shit out of it. Unless, with our battery charge, can we use blank card dice shard? Blank card dice shard! Yes, we can. Um, apparently, we can also grab car battery here. We have no more battery charges, so be wary of this. Um, Burkano. Burkano. Bombs are key. The Joker card I'm just going to use. Sure, Rotten Baby's awesome. Uh, car battery blank card Yera seems disgustingly good. So we also got this like Awaz rune in here. We got this little bad boy. Use this Awaz rune. Burkano, pretty fly, range up. I mean, this shop has been pretty pretty sweet. Stars card, dice shard again. Okay, dice shard. We got another Joker card. Um, buy the spirit heart. Donate as much money as possible. Game has been good to you. You be good to the game. Okay, I mean that was that was weird, but also great. I think. The car battery pickup is awesome. The blank card pickup is going to be very useful. Do we have a chance of boss rush? Yeah, we got a chance of boss rush. You know what? That's that's enough. I'm going to try to get the boss rush. Even though it may not seem prudent. Whoa, two secret rooms. Okay. Um, another strange room. 
Keep in mind, you got Blank Cartier. This is the dream team. This is what you look for in life. Take Liberty Cap. Might as well check the secret room quickly. Um... Well, if we're going to be taking Blank Cartier, we're probably not doing the boss room. Because it's, uh... Oh, there's a library. We don't have Perthrow. We could get it, but... I don't know. I think... Let's just make our way for the potentiality of boss rush. Again, if we get... Well, even the Unicorn Stump now, I don't know if I'd take, but... Piercing shots are good. reason I wouldn't take Unicorn Stump is just because Blank Cartier is, like, really good on its own right. You get, like, 90 items as a result of that. Okay. That was good. That was not so good. Uh, we've already seen our deal with the devil action here. Got the Polaroid. What is the other item in here? Was there another item? No, that was uh, Rotten Baby. And then in here, Sack Dagger. I mean, it's really good, but it's not good enough for us to donate our time there, I think. All right. This is, uh, I mean, this is potentially amazing. We should... Blank card Yera... Um, like one consumable that we actually like. For example, maybe a battery charge. Um, what are these other runes here? Hagalaz. Don't lose the Yara rune. There we go. Just get the hell out of here. <laughs> unlimited Yara or unlimited Hagalaz runes. Uh, doesn't really interest me that much. I think we should go. Although we could use it on this room. All right. With Rotten Baby, our damage is a little bit better. With Dead Onion, our ability to kill things is a little bit better, but. Certainly not, like, really feeling amazing about this run yet from a damage perspective. From a utility perspective, it's, it's up there. Yeah, this is what you're looking for. And it's quadrupling instead of doubling because of car battery, in case you're confused as to why one key doubles into four keys. I would be confused about that, too. That's going to allow us to get to 99 keys really, really quickly. Because instead of uh, squaring something, we're using the exponent... We're the... Well, we're... Squaring the square of it, if that makes sense. Could have just done a lot of good stuff with the Degas, unlimited Degas are in there. Like, 4 now becomes 16, 16 will become 64. We're, we're not squaring the square of it, we're doubling it twice, that's what I mean to say. Well, whether or not it was what I meant to say, it's the truth. <laughs> it's the, that's the actual reality of the situation. All right, now it'll now it'll go up to 60 because I accidentally picked one up there. Uh, luck up is really good. I mean, the more chests we can get on the chest, the better. So I'm into this. Hopefully that luck translates into a deal with the devil on this floor as well so that we can actually uh, pick up maybe something that does good damage for us, like the Pact, for example. We're still pretty much just rolling on Amadon here. All right, this is going to take us to 89 keys. So I kind of feel like we'll just take this. 89, yeah. Um, and we only need 10 keys. That should be very easy for us to swing. Or we only open 89 chests. Either way, it's a, it's a foregone conclusion that it's going to be a huge advantage for us. Next candidate would be bombs, I guess. We'll just use the gaz. Again, we could double the gaz rune, but I don't see us needing it, honestly. Perthrow is also a good one to double up, but um, we'll, we'll hold off for now. Okay, we really can't afford to walk into enemies. Or maybe we can, because the game just keeps giving us spirit hearts, because uh doesn't mind keeping us bolstered here, which I appreciate. Conquest is, I mean, on the surface, maybe he could give us a better item than uh, than blank card. But uh, in actuality, at least in our present situation, that's not going to be the case. But I'm very, like, pro-white pony. Hopefully that isn't slang for, like, you know, being like a meth dealer or something. Uh, that's gonna get me in trouble. Dark Matter is good enough, can be in conception. Not really good enough, in my opinion. And down to the next floor. Now, we did fight Hush on the last run, so we're not gonna fight Hush on this one. Uh, that's not the only reason we're not gonna fight him on this one. The other reason is that we were a lot stronger on the last run. Little Steven, or regular size Steven, will help that out somewhat, but not, uh, prodigiously. Now we can start doubling again. Uh, I don't really want double keys. I'd rather double almost anything else. Okay, that's bad damage. Uh, you know what we'll wait for? We'll wait for doubled spirit hearts. Don't go down that way. Um, okay, so look for a tinted rock. It's probably the most likely way to get it. 
No Tinted Rock, no problem. But a Tinted Rock allows us a lot of leeway. Even if we just got two Spirit Hearts. I mean, that's it would have to drop two and us would have no charge. So, it's pretty unlikely. But uh, even just two would make me feel pretty comfortable about our, our lot in life right now. Spiders are good. It's just everything else that's kind of still lagging behind where I'd like it to be a little. Okay. Certainly could get to 99 cents pretty quickly. The gauze. Perthro. Not bad. I guess we should have used our Perthro rune on the last floor. It's a... That's not even like a min-maxing error. That's just an error error. Relax. The gauze. Okay, that's what we want. So... Uh, we also got a golden poop in there somewhere. For the gauze, um, we might as well look, and I don't think we're going to backtrack. So four to gauze is perfect. We'll take all four of those, leave with seven HP. No battery charges are missing. That was a pretty lucky drop, honestly. I was feeling the burn a little bit there, uh, point-wise. Like, things could run into trouble pretty easily. This is one of the runs where almost certainly all we need to do is make it to the chest. And if we make it, we should be, like, beyond okay. I mean, we should be able to open 16 chests as soon as we go down to the chest. That's a really good assortment, uh, or potential assortment of items. That is horrible damage on my part. No deal with the devil. We'll head up to the cathedral. If we find spirit hearts, we shall... Take advantage of them. But apart from that, we're just going to be uh, trying to save a charge. But we're definitely going to use a charge here. And, you know, even though I took damage here and I feel like an idiot for it, um, it's pretty good for us. We also get to double that rune. What is this rune? It's an Algiz rune. Having four Algiz runes already actually gives us a lot of uh, leeway to do something here. I think every through. Ah, we should just double one more time. And then we have an Algiz rune for, like, every room that we do here. Which is kind of funny. Um, but also annoying, as you can see. How about down here? Let's say we give it a shot. Midas Touch basically means that we can do uh, whatever we want here. And we're just doing this to get a... Uh, blank card charges. Once we get these blank card charges, we'll use them on Yera. And create like a whole new batch of Algiz runes. Not to mention 16 Spirit Arts. That's Yera! Don't want your stupid Yara rune. What's that good for? Nothing at all. Again, if we just waited, we could have actually turned, you know, this into 16 Algiz runes and done the entire floor like this. But you know my reaction when it comes to backtracking. It's not my favorite. Okay, easy enough. Drop some bombs. Sure, if you get hit, it doesn't matter. You're about to have 16 spirit hearts. Let's not sweat it too much. Blank rune. Use blank card, blank rune, or do you just... I think you just come in here and use blank rune. It gave us Burkano. So then you go back, pick up Yera. Quadruple everything up. Sure, you got non-stop Algiz runes. We're just gonna say don't sweat it for now. Just happy to have uh, max HP. Okay. I'm excited. We're approaching, uh, you know, peak ridiculous itemness. This could be the right way to go. I gotta say, having 16 Spirit Arts is almost a... It's a bad place to be because... I'm very tempted to just walk into enemies immediately. And like, yeah, sure, we get hurt, but whatever. You walk into the enemy, you just run them... Okay, that was not how I expected that to go. I had every intention there of killing that enemy, but... We pushed him out. And you know, if, if Midas Touch is gonna be the flavor of the month, if they're gonna give us Midas Touch on every single run in... Uh, in February and March, then that is A-OK -okay by me. Don't let me stand in your way, game. But it does <laughs> sometimes uh, make it easy to do uh, poor plays, I'll admit. That's half the fun. Maybe. Uh, 47 cents, so we're not even doing that, that, that much damage we run into enemies. We're doing a decent amount. I think we have a uh, mini mush on this room. Almost like getting hit is like an excuse to actually get in there and use Midas Touch. But this is all operating under the assumption that, you know, when we open 64 items on the chest, we're going to be good to go. 
If we open 64 items, or, you know, 128 items even on the chest, and they turn out to be shit, well, yeah, I have to eh, take a closer look at what game I'm playing, because the odds of uh, 128 items in a row all being horrible is pretty low. Truth be told, it's, it's kind of a false uh, dilemma. We don't really need 128 to be shit, we just need a couple of them to ruin it for the rest of the crowd, but... Curse of the Unknown. Blank card, Yera, um, and don't open it yet. Just go around, look for some, look for some hot battery charge action. I gotta admit, real tempted to open those chests ASAP, cause, uh... Not really holding it down from a damage perspective still. Despite all the time we've spent on this run. Where's our... oh, there... oh, you... Got what I need... I absolutely 100% conspiracy theory charged headlong into them there. Uh, so, Shoop the Whoop is gonna be awesome, but we can't take it. At least we can't take it yet. But with Infestation 2 would be incredible, especially once we open those uh, 64 chests and get ridiculous damage. So I think um, I'm probably going to double just, and it's not really double, it's quadruple, but I'm probably going to quadruple just the one more time. And my reasoning there is uh, 64 items are manageable, 128 items, actually it wouldn't even be 128. Our next doubling after 64 would be 256, um, because it's not doubling at all, it's quadrupling, um, is not a good idea. It's too far, we won't be able to see what the hell's going on. That's half the fun, but also we'd like... For me, the zaniness is better if it's at least like a little bit manageable. So this is gonna be a lot of items. But, you know, we, we'll still be able to take a look at them and be like, okay, this is this is what's what. Um, hopefully, there are not too many spacebar items. I did take Isaac's Heart. How can you not take Isaac's Heart on this run? It, we're, we're gonna have everything on this run, including Isaac's heart. You look at this though, and you gotta say like, I have no idea what this run looks like anymore. I don't know what our HP is. I'm assuming it's very high. Uh, you know, we got aura, we got syringes. We're probably about to get spun. Yeah, I think we'd probably get spun right here. Oh, well, we got three syringes in a row, so we're definitely getting spun. The virus is huge, um, considering that we also have uh, Holy Mantle and Midas Touch now. Well, we've always had Midas Touch, but. Now we can get demon hearts off of these guys. Damage is still horrible? Is that right? <laughs> Doesn't feel like that should be right. Uh, okay, now we can see our HP at least. Oh, we didn't pick up Holy Mantle. Lost Fly has turned us into Beelzebub. Take Purity. Take Big Fan. Take Evil Eye. Take Chemical Peel. Yeah, we'll take Soy Milk and Tech X. And the Serpent's Kiss. And I think we'll probably take Forget Me Now. Um, which will mean that it doesn't matter what space bar item we grab out of here. I was thinking Glass Cannon could be fun as well, but... Who knows, man. I'm I'm in my own world of pain right now. Anarchist Cook was bad. Mom's Perfumes. Soy Milk. I was kind of sad. Where's, where's my Sad Bombs is at? But still got four more chests. Betrayal. Um, we might as well take one more book out of the rotation. Prayer Card. Bum Friend. Lard. Okay, we got all passive items except for that attack fly and tractor beam. Oh, I didn't even see Zodiac. Sure, let's come down here. Grab this. Oh, and there's a bomb bag. Take the forget me now. Get the hell out of here. Okay, I, I want to not spoil the surprise. Let's see what our items look like once we get down here. More piercing shots, sticky bombs, rosary, and gigafarts. We're not going to take rosary yet. You know, these are like... It's a really good synergy for soy milk, I feel. We're not doing shit damage. Uh, and we can spam out shots that are not only uh, fairly high damage, considering we have soy milk, but also quite large. But there is a little part of me that's like, why? It's not that zany. It's just kind of like a good tech X run. I'm waiting for my like sad bombs that fill the screen with death's touch sights, but I guess that's what you get for not going all the way. 256 chests would just be impossible to maneuver around. But, you know, I, I regret it. We should have gone for it. It would have been fun. But this one was fun regardless. I think we must have gotten shielded tears because we're steamrolling at this point. With Holy Mantle, we just walk in there. Spam shots. Stantarsh. That's going to take us to 10, I think, which is pretty impressive. But we kind of just floated this one in. Just not to say, like, we didn't put, uh, we didn't put some extra effort into it, but, like, a lot of the runs recently have just been so strong that there's no chance that they don't work out. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.